All right, so imagine that you're in a meeting and someone hands you a document that looks like this. And they say, I need you to read this. Well, to me, that sounds like a really big pain. And also, if you have a time constraint, it's just not going to work. So what you need in this situation is you need your smartphone. I'm going to show you three different apps, um, which are called Adobe Scanner, Office Lens, and then Prisma Go, which all will help you in those situations. So it's more for a short reading that's a physical piece of paper that you can't get on your computer very fast. Instead of scanning in these situations, you just need to take a bunch of pictures really quickly. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, so I have a document here, which is actually um, an introduction to Homer's Iliad from Project Gutenberg, which I've talked about earlier on the channel. And so what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be showing you how you can take this and scan it with one of two different apps. The two apps are Adobe Scan and Office Lens. And both of them have their benefits and cons. So let's talk first about Adobe Scan. So if let's say we want to scan this document, you do is you hold it over the document, and it'll automatically start taking pictures. Now I'm going to turn that off so you have to go to auto capture and you have to just click the button at the top and say auto capture off and then you just go over it again and you wait until the border is on it and it's clear and you take another picture. So what you do is then you flip over the page, wait until the border kind of goes around it and it's not always perfect. You just take a picture So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go through and you're going to have to adjust some of the pages because you'll notice some of them look a little bit off skew. Um, so for example, uh, this page here, well this is a duplicate so I can just delete that page there. But this page you'll notice it's a little bit um, diagonal-ish and so we can fix that by just reframing it. So we're going to go to the framing button and we're going to, or the cropping button, and you're going to just adjust it so that the page kind of fits a little bit better. And same with this one, see how it's just kind of skewed a little bit? We're going to fix that by dragging the lines so that they kind of line up a little bit better with the border of the paper. One thing that really helps is if you have a higher contrast background. Uh, but yeah, this will help the text align a little bit better. And I'm just going to go through the rest of these and just finish until we're done. So we're going to hit save PDF and I'll be back as soon as it's done. Okay, so you notice how it's saying uploading to document cloud. We're just going to wait until that's finished. Um, also, it will OCR the document, so we'll just wait for that. Okay, so now we have the document here, um, and you can hit share, or you can hit open in Adobe Acrobat. Uh, first, you're going to want to open it in Acrobat before we do anything, um, and then you can actually uh, test it, so you can actually select it and make sure that everything is reading. And then from Acrobat, you have a few different options. Don't share it directly from Adobe Scan. Share from an Acrobat. I don't know why, but sometimes it seems like it's not working very well. And then hit the share button. And you can do a few different things. You can open it in, which is probably what I'm going to do. And then you have a bunch of different options that are going to pop up. So let's try again. All right. So the first thing you can do is you can just email it to yourself. Um, and then you can open it on your computer and listen to it there with any of the programs that we've talked about. But you can also do uh, CAPT. So when you open it in CAPT, it'll say add it to CAPT, and so you can go to CAPT then, and it'll ask you if you want to import it as a rich uh, text or original layout. Original layout is a premium feature, so I'm not going to show you it right now, but basically it makes it look like the PDF. Rich text basically just makes it look like text, so we're going to do that. And in fact, I already have this uploaded here, so I'm going to show you what it looks like now. And you have this entire thing that is playing, so let's hit play. Okay, so you can tell that it's a very good reading of this entire thing. Um, and so, you know, you have your pages or whatever. Um, but the point is, uh, it's, it's a pretty darn accurate uh, reading. So we can go back and we can look at this. And it looks also, you'll notice if you go back to the scan, you'll notice that it looks very clean. Um, it actually... Uh, 
it actually looks like you've scanned the document instead of taking pictures. If you just take pictures with the camera, it won't look uh, this nice and clean like a document. So what you can do now is you can email it to yourself, you can airdrop it to yourself. But the point is now you can listen to it on your computer, you can listen to it on your phone, and uh, that's the idea that we want to have. Okay, so just a few notes about this. Um, first of all, this is a free program. However, uh, there is a 25 page document limit. So if you want to OCR a document, you have to have only 25 pages. You can't have more than that. You can take more than 25 pages, but then it won't OCR. So your second option is Microsoft's Office Lens, and I'm going to show you that program next. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. You can kind of do the same thing. You can take pictures of documents. It'll auto-border it. I actually think their auto-bordering seems slightly better, just given what I've uh, gone through. The other thing is Office Lens has a smaller file limit. So basically when you're doing, um, you can only go up to say, I think it's 10 pages. And in Adobe Scan, you can go up to 25 pages. During Office Lens, you can only crop while you're doing it, or at least that's how I've been able to do it. Um, so you can't crop all at the end, which I think is more efficient. Now there is one last uh, OCR software on my phone that I'm going to show you, which is called um, Prismo Go. And this is also free, although it does have premium features. And the difference between Prismo and the other ones is that it, well, it's a little bit more ad hoc. So let's say you just want to read one page. So you take a picture of it, and it automatically scans and captures that. And then what you can do is you can literally just read it straight in there. Ziv the Iliad of Homer or authors of the Iliad and Odyssey. What the authority system subject are summarily dismissed, although the arguments appear to run in a circle. This cannot be true because it's not true and it is not. So I just think that that's kind of nice to be able to do. I like that because if I'm just trying to read one document really fast, I don't want to share it. I don't want to do anything. I just want to listen to it. Now, if you do want to share all that stuff, um, that does come with page features. And so you can only scan one page at a time with Prismogo. So I would definitely use it only for an ad hoc thing. Like, let's say you just want to read a quick article in a magazine or someone hands you a piece of paper and you have to read it. So you just do that. So these are just three of the many different scanning softwares that exist. Uh, it's very useful if you're in a ad hoc situation where you don't have access to a scanner. You can use Adobe Scanner or Office Lens, or if you just want to read one page really quickly, you can use Prismo Go. And if you need more, there are always other options out there as well. So let me know if you have a specific option that you like. I often use another app called Speechify, which I'll be featuring in a future video. But the point is that you now have options and they're all actually free, at least the ones that I talked about. So leave a comment if you have any other questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.